Well, here we are, y'all. Steelville Bike Park. A uh, project that's been really cool for a little while now, but uh, my dude Seth and Zach came down, uh, Backyard Trail Builds and Stray Trails, and they did some updates. Uh, added some new trails, so I'm gonna go see what those are. So this is a, probably uh, the old lines, the old trails. I'm gonna try to ride everything today. I mean, hopefully we can catch Zach and catch Seth and slap some high fives, and then I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get on every single one of the new trails and show you guys what it is. And hopefully you guys can come out and ride the rad new stuff uh, that these guys uh, had put together. Tag along, let's see what we can find. So uh, this is it, guys. I don't know, like, I wish you could smell a video, but between that and this, it's so good. Fresh cedar chips. Little fire burning. I'm telling you guys what, this is uh, this is October, November in Missouri. This is what it's about. Y'all can have deer season. I want trail season. Come get some. All right, so here's a new flow trail, little jump session area they built. Let's see if I can get it right. Man, that feels so good. Came up a little short on one of them with a feature. All right, so this one here looks like it's called Surf's Up from the uh, Builder's Trail Mouth. So Zach's words were, there's some rad stuff over there. And so I did hike up it and took a look at it. There is some rad stuff here. Um, yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. I don't even know if I'll have it together today to hit all the features. I know the last few I can't hit because there's some equipment on the trail, um, but I'm looking forward to checking this out. Seth does some incredible woodwork and there's, you'll see some of those features as we go. Cheers guys. So I just wanted to give everybody a peek at some of the crispiness that's out here. I'm not gonna be able to ride this one. They still got some equipment on the trail, particularly right in the middle of the landing for this jump. Man, the dirt looks so good. There's so much dirt here compared to the other side of the hill. I'll get a roll through. All right, here we go. First roll through, surf's up. Let's see what we got. There's a compactor down there and I don't want to die. Man, it feels so good, y'all. This whole trail. They're still doing some work, so I'm going to be nice to these guys and not trash your stuff. Trail dogs for the win. Super fun. Which looks like it goes over this way. So this is called Wave Train. Just to make sure I can follow the signs for it. Maybe this way? This looks like this is a green. to the climb nice easy fun my six-year-old would love that 
All right, so, so far we have done two green trails. One of them is Jacob's Ladder, the other one is Lazy River. The next one is what they call a blue green, which is interesting for me, called Turtle's Back. Let's see what this has got. Turtle's back, done. Well, since I'm pedaling, I might as well tell you guys about the climbing trail. So the climbing trail is easy at turtle pace, which is me, pretty much granny gearing, nearly the whole thing, coasting when I don't have to. It is about a five minute climb to the top, and that's it. Which is really cool, because you can get a lot of fun flow trail down for a five to seven minute climb. Four minutes if you're faster than me which most of you listening probably should be. For Ryan Brown, this might be a three minute climb. I don't know. I think he's having an e-bike motor and it's epic. Clint Sylvie too. Yep, so here's the climbing trail it's called Jacob's Ladder. Nice, easy, mellow. Very reasonable to get to the top for the flow trails. I got one more blue that I want to do here. And then I'm going to go check out the new stuff from Backyard Trail Builds and Stray Trails. My dude, Seth and Zach, some of my favorite trail builders in the industry right now. But I'll get over there and check that out shortly. Well, you guys, I'll have to apologize. I just checked my video angle and I've changed it three times and it's still not there. Let's hope. It's here now. You didn't miss much, just greens. Here's the first real blue. This one's called Wave Train. Let's see if I got that video angle right this time. And this is why I don't make any money on YouTube because I'm really bad at it. Tight berms, black goes that way. Nice. So that's the blue wave train. A couple good lips. <laughs> Gotta pedal a little bit. Feels good though. All right, so I said I'd do everything once and I've got two trails left. This one is called Water Moccasin. I guess it's a blue, maybe it's a black. I didn't quite see the sign. Single track, low trail. 
little junk, little rock. Feels pretty good. Little drop feature. That puts us right back in the climbing trail. That's water moccasin. All right, as promised, here is the last trail. So this is uh, Gnarly Gar. This is the original uh, black trail. So last one I did was in fact the blue called Water Moccasin. And this one is called Gnarly Gar. Um, and I guess it's the only thing featured black. Although I think the new stuff that Seth and Zach built over on the other side, one with the big shark fan, I'm pretty sure they're gonna call that a black too. It is a really sweet trail. Um, I haven't ridden this trail in over a year. So I have no idea what I'm in for, if I'm perfectly honest. I guess we'll just have to see. Not that way, it's around the berm. I don't wanna miss my trail junction. Oh, here it is, okay. Black, gnarly gar, let's see what we got. short on one airplane landed another I can clean it now that I know it's there fun trail big features big shapes you guys gotta come ride this stuff it's real good all right guys that's a wrap I rode everything here plus the new stuff that isn't marked yet so we went through lazy river Jacob's ladder wave train water moccasin Turtles back in Gnarly Gnar, and we hit uh, Surf's Up, which is that way, right over here. And uh, it was mega fun. This is the best bike for this kind of thing. Got to catch up, my dudes Zach and Seth, they were still busy working, so I didn't want to hound them to talk to them too much, um, just to say thanks and uh, some really neat stuff that they're building. Uh, if anybody else is watching this that can have the capacity to hire both of those guys, their projects are all very good. Um, they look amazing. They're beautiful, as you can see from this video, and they feel so good. There's just such an art to crafting shapes that not every trail builder has. Um, and between the two of them, that team is pretty cool. Uh, Seth is really artistic and does some amazing woodwork and really has a vision for it. And then Zach is just probably the best shape builder of any trail builder I've ever ridden. Um, I love what he builds uh, and I love the style and the way that it flows. It is such good stuff, guys. Um, so if you are making the pilgrimage through to the promised land of Bentonville, Arkansas, and the trip has you heading down 44, this is about 10 minutes off the exit and it is 100% worth a visit. Um, so for the day, uh oh, there goes my bike. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's incredibly windy out today, but for the day I did uh, 8.3 miles and then I have right at, oh, there we go. Right at a nearly 1400 foot of elevation. Um, and that's with hitting every trail here once, a couple trails twice. Why did you do that wind? It's my favorite bike. Um, so that's it. So there is uh, technically call it eight trails out here uh, but the way they build out the back one and there is more to come they've got a single track like just blast line they have coming still um, and a couple connectors come out and ride this stuff put it on the map make the track if you're in the midwest and you're going to arkansas you're going to st louis there's a good chance you'll cross through and pass through steelville bike park make it happen you guys it is a really rad ride spot cheers